If you thought the left was in full panic mode after Donald Trump was elected you have not seen anything yet. After the Donald trounced Hillary Clinton last November, the left has sat and up taken notice of conservatism again. These liberal narcissistic parasites realize that their former plan of belittling hard-working Americans is not going to win them elections anymore. So, when Kid Rock announced last week that he was strongly considering running for Senate, the left began to sweat heavily. Now, Kid Rock has released his first campaign message and liberal Democrats are dangerously close to dehydrating. When Donald Trump won the election last November, it signaled the dawn of a new era. For too long liberal elites have been controlling the country telling the average American how out of touch they were. That the love of God, family, and country was inferior and that they needed to be abandoned for their progressive ideology. When Donald Trump won it sent a clear message that Americans were not interested in liberal policies, gender bending, and their freedom being infringed upon. Now, with the 2018 elections looming Democrats are scrambling to win seats in order to resist Trump and his winning agenda. However, that will be hard for them to do since these liberal nitwits cannot even settle on a party platform. And, since Republicans now have the momentum to win thanks to President Trump a kid rock win in the Senate could be a reality. Robert James Ritchie the Detroit musician known as Kid Rock is a proud American and a staunch supporter of Donald Trump. Kid Rock is hoping that he can capture some of the magic that put Donald Trump in the White House to catapult him into the Michigan Senate seat. Last Monday, Kid Rock announced on Twitter that he was running and directed his supporters to his website, KidRockForSenate.com. I believe if you work your butt off and pay taxes, you should be able to easily understand and navigate the laws, tax codes, health care and anything else the government puts in place that affects us all. The message read, shortly after making that announcement, the left went into panic mode realizing that Kid Rock really stood a good chance at winning. And, if they were panicking then they are certainly panicking after Kid Rock just released his first campaign message. This message should have the left in full panic since it is the same message that Donald Trump ran on and beat Hillary. Here is more The Daily Caller. It appears that Kid Rock's run for the Senate in 2018 is officially happening. Rock, whose real name is Robert James Ritchie, tweeted out KidRockForSenate.com around noon Monday. I believe if you work your butt off and pay your taxes, you should be able to easily understand and navigate the laws, tax codes, health care and anything else the government puts in place that affects us all, Rock said in the attached image in the tweet. Kid Rock raised eyebrows when he hinted at a run for public office last week, and some denounced it as a hoax. However, he also shot down the rumors it was a hoax on his Facebook page. He released the following statement regarding the rumors, once again the press is wrong. First of all, I've got 15 days from my announcement to file paperwork with the FEC. Second, I'm not signed to Warner Brothers. Dash which simple fact checking would have revealed. I have recently worked out a unique deal with BMG, Broken Bow, SAR and Live Nation to release music on my terms. Like politicians write books during their campaigns, I'm planning on putting out music during mine and IT all starts tonight at midnight. It's not a hoax. It's a strategy and marketing 101. No plans for an album or anything else that has been the usual norm in the music business or politics, and Senator Stabno and I do share a love of music, although probably not the same kind. I concede she is better at playing politics than I am so I'll keep doing what I do best, which is being a voice for tax paying hard-working Americans and letting politicians like her know that we the people are sick and tired of their bullshit. I am the captain now. Hashtag fake news hashtag kid rock for senate hashtag kid rock hashtag potent hashtag greatest show on earth kid rock is an awesome American and most certainly will put the Michigan citizens first instead of Molson refugees and illegals. If there is anything that the left should have learned in this past year, is that the American people are sick and tired of lying politicians. The American people want leaders that will put Americans first and not those who seek to destroy us. 
The reason that President Trump won last year was that he spoke the truth and loves our country. If Kid Rock does the same thing he most certainly will win the election in a landis light. Share this story if you support Kid Rock's mission to make Michigan great again. Follow us on Facebook at Freedom Daily.